Hey guys, got some special tech tips. All right, well, maybe not so technical, but certainly technically important, all right? We've got five hot buttons on today's topic. First of all, stop the abuse. Slides are excellent tools for doing easy on-screen graphics and video, but you know what? All the same rules apply. Less is more. Use slides to support your audience, not you. If you need notes, use notes. The slides are an augmentation, not a replacement of you as the speaker. Hey, and don't go crazy on the text, all right? The fonts should be even bigger than normal for one, and if you're using these things right, you'll have a lot less text anyway. And when people say, hey, you got too many slides, you know what, they're using a reference to when people don't know how to use slides correctly. If you've got good supporting imagery that's a complement to your message, don't be afraid to use as many slides as you need. Be visual. Mm. You know, video is a visual medium, so use it to help tell your story. B-roll or additional video footage is a great way to put energy into your production. Instead of one long, continuous interview headshot and a slide about a new product, hey, go crazy, show footage and material that can help tell the story. This might be beauty shots of the product or people installing something on, anything that helps you tell that story. And this cutting back and forth between the presenter and the supporting footage is going to keep your audience interested. And when it's done right, it allows you to get a lot more information across in a shorter amount of time. Now, a side note for your own personal use. Learn how to edit video, all right? It's today's word processing. We've got free programs on our PCs and our Macs. Not about being a professional editor. We're never going to know enough to do that. But if we can learn how to cut down our footage to the stuff that makes the most difference, layer in some of this additional imagery, we can take it up a notch. Make an effort on behalf of your audience, all right? Tell me again. Yeah, tell and show and tell again, and that's how you do better demos. You know, when doing these things, either hardware or software, a simple trick is to tell the audience what you're going to do, then show them, and then tell them again. Let me give you a simple example. Finding TechWise TV online. All right. We've got a couple of places to interact with our content. We've got the main page for the videos. We've got the blog. We've got the YouTube account. And of course, our Facebook fan page. I you know all of you are on there. And let's take a look at how we get there. Well, listen, all you've got to do is launch a browser. Then we're going to type in an address. Let's see, techwisetv.com. Click to preview a show. Look, you can do all kinds of things on here. Certainly register, find some content you may have missed. It's all right there for you. How about the blog? It's simply blog.techwisetv.com. Hey, now notice right here, right on the side of the screen, you get to our YouTube account. You can find links to a lot of other things, upcoming shows and this type of thing. See how that works? Easy. Makes much more of an impact. Hey, avoid over-scripting, all right? Make this stuff conversational. Keep it engaging. Scripts are really hard to work with, so learn how this is going to work for you. A talking head video can get rather boring after a short period of time, especially if you don't have good slides and the imagery you've been talking about. And one way to keep the uh, audience interested is by making it a conversation between two or even more people. Not too many, however. By having a host and at least one guest, the audience feels like now that they're part of a conversation. And then the host, who can lead the conversation with predetermined questions or discussion points, leaves the guest to focus on their topic, the stuff that they're already an expert on, leave them in their comfort zone. This back and forth dialogue, along with the right imagery, makes for entertaining, yet now much more informative videos. Hey, relaxed and groovy, right? Talk to your audience, not at them. Being personal and genuine with your viewers, it's key. Talking in a conversational way allows the viewers to engage more with the video. If we talk as peers or even friends, it comes across as different than most presentations, and people will tend to watch and even come back for more. You know the only way to get good at doing that kind of thing? You've got to do a lot of it. There's no reason you can't be doing that these days. So listen, I hope you find these tips helpful. I expect you to be using them. In fact, you know what? We just used all of them in this segment.